Hey, hey, I'm John Laspina, carnivore teacher here. We're going to talk about GLP-1. What the heck is that? Have you heard of these drugs, Ozempic, Monjaro, uh, what's the other one? There's like three other ones. And these are called GLP-1 agonist drugs. Now, our body makes GLP-1 naturally. So I want to talk about what it actually is. I want to break this down for you. GLP-1, the G is glucagon. Glucagon is created by the alpha cells in our pancreas, and it's kind of like the opposite of insulin that's made by the beta cells. So glucagon, like peptide 1, that's what it's called, GLP-1, is a hormone that helps regulate blood glucose levels and is also used as a treatment for type 2 diabetes and obesity, like in those drugs. If you have it, the drugs can be helpful if taken properly. I don't believe we should be taking it for weight loss. However, there is a place for that possibly for the morbidly obese. A start and a stop time for a drug is what I always promote. Never a lifelong staying on a drug. A dose and a start and a stop time. So GLP-1 is a hormone produced in our intestines in response to eating, especially carbohydrates. It helps the body release insulin after eating to keep blood sugar levels balanced. That's where the glucagon and the insulin, it's like a sea salt totter. When one is up, the other's down. This is how it's used. Now, GLP-1 agonists are a class of medications that mimic the effects of GLP-1 and are used to treat type 2 diabetes and obesity. GLP-1 agonists can be taken as injections or tablets. How it works, GLP-1 agonists help lower blood sugar levels and improve metabolism. They can also help people feel full and eat less. There are some serious side effects to taking GLP-1 drugs, and they include nausea, diarrhea, stomach pain, constipation, low blood sugar, headaches, and skin reactions. And then the risks for taking GLP-1 agonists externally, it could lower your blood sugar too far, it can increase the risk of serious hypoglycemia, which can be life-threatening if left untreated. Effectively, uh, GLP-1 agonists are effective for certain people, but they aren't universally effective for most people, and they can be very expensive, and insurance doesn't cover it. I honestly think there's a place for Ozempic and Monjaro and, and these other drugs for people who are maybe 400, 500 pounds, they are so severely morbidly obese that their life is at risk. This is where a drug can come in handy to help a person come down in weight, but they should be taken off of this GLP-1 agonist external drug. We should not be taking something for the rest of our lives. We should learn how to eat properly, not consume carbohydrates. If we do, under 20 or 30 total grams a day, preferably zero is my opinion. But we have to get to that point. And some of these people are eating three and four and 500 grams a day and you go through a withdrawal and it's very hard. So GLP-1 is glucagon-like peptide one hormone. It's something that our body makes, my body makes it, your body makes it in small amounts and we don't need to inject ourselves with it. We make just the right amount as is designed by God in nature to externally inject GLP-1, I think it can be done under medical supervision for very severe cases and then taken off. That's what a GLP-1 is for and what GLP-1 is. And I hope that you took away something from this video. And if you did, click the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share if you're interested. Have a really great day. And just eat meat, fatty red meat, eggs, and fish. And you don't have to worry about any of these things. Your body will make the right amount of chemicals and take care of you.